Hey everyone, it's Josh at Russell Custom Cranks, and today I'm going to show you guys how I paint um, this crappie pattern that I came up with on my custom painted crankbaits. Um, the colors you'll need are opaque white, pearl silver, pearl satin gold, pearl green, pearl blue, and opaque black. So here's one sample of it. I've got another one that I did, but it's got a gray back instead of the black back. But as you can see, it's uh, the gold fades into the green, and then the green kind of fades up into the blue. So uh, stick around, I'll show you guys how to paint this. So our first step in painting the crappie is going to be coating the whole crankbait with um, opaque white. So I'll do that real quick and then get back to you guys. All right, so now I have the whole bait coated in opaque white. Our next step is we're going to coat it in pearl silver. So let's do that real quick. Sorry if my compressor's loud. Um, it's just a cheap one from Harbor Freight. So once you get that down, uh, we'll go ahead and heat set that. And all that's doing is gonna create, um, you know, like a shimmer behind the colors we're getting ready to lay down. And you can kind of see it, that pearl. So our next color we're gonna do is um, pearlized pearl satin gold. And this is gonna only go on the lower half and towards the belly of the bait. So I will show you guys that next. Okay, so I have the uh, pearl satin gold um, in the airbrush. And like I said, we are going to just, see there's a line in the crankbait, pretty much that line down. Um, and we're gonna Kind of get some on the belly. Um, you'll just fade it in, but mainly going to keep it on the lower half of the body. So now that that's done, we will heat set the gold. And then our next color we're going to spray is pearl green. I'll show you guys that. We now have half of the crankbait body gold, the lower half as you can see. And now, like I said, we're gonna take uh, pearl green and go about I don't know, an inch, half inch above where um, that line is on the crankbait. So I'll show you guys that. And you're gonna wanna fade it down into the gold. like we do between every color we will heat set this and then our next color we're going to spray is pearl blue so we have our green done our pearl green laid down um, the next we're going to do is our pearl blue and this is going to go on the very shoulder um, and a little bit on the top but it's the key is fading it into the green, so I'll show you guys that. the 
blue laid down. So you can see it fades pretty nice into the green and then the green fades pretty nice into the gold. So we will heat set this blue and then we are going to um, paint the pattern which is this. This is a like floral ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Um, we'll wrap the bait with this and then use the opaque black to show the pattern. So I will heat set this and be back. Alright, so we've got our floral ribbon as our pattern on here. And I've got black loaded in the gun. Um, we're going to go pretty heavy on the top of the bait where we put the blue um, closer to the clips. And then we're going to kind of fade it. You know, it's going to get lighter as you go down the body. So I'll show you guys that. You get a really cool fade pattern if you hold your, your airbrush and let the paint just fall, um, fall down the side of the bait if you hold it at an angle. So it looks like we covered a lot, you know, the bait with a lot of black, but if you touch it on its side, you can start seeing, you know, the underlying effect from using this um, ribbon, same on this side. So um, we'll heat set this. You want to definitely heat set this before you try to take your um, ribbon off and the clamps, because um, if not, it'll probably scratch the you know, non-dry uh, paint. So let's heat set it and I'll show you guys the effect it made. All right, it has been heat set. So let's take this ribbon off. And you wanna go slowly and careful with this process or you will scratch what you just put down. And there we go. That looks awesome. So what we'll do now is put the bait back in the helping hands. And we're gonna clean up the top just by putting a uh, you know, strip of black on the back, kind of fade it down into blue. But it is looking pretty good. All right, so now let's put the black on the back and then we're gonna touch up around the eyes uh, with black also. So we'll do that. And one thing, um, when you're shooting the black on the back, make sure you don't cover up all your blue. Um, or it'll take away some of the effect of the color changing. So, just a tip. Alright. So the back is done. See, I kind of left some of that blue. done with this got a little nick on the gill there but we'll touch that up with some black so all right now it is time to cover up some of the overspray with some white on the belly and then we'll put some gold eyes on
All right, everyone. So off camera, I uh, sprayed the belly white, get rid of some of the overspray. Um, I painted the gills black. I think it just looks a little better. And then I added some gold eyes. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this um, paint job. Um, I think it looks quite like a crappie. Uh, I'm from Indiana and I actually was, when I was coming up with this, I was using a reference photo of a crappie and it was pretty spot on when you compare them side, to side, side by side. So I may try to include that in this video, but I'm not very tech savvy, so we'll see. But definitely let me know what you guys think about this, um, this pattern that I made. As you can see, the silver fades into the gold, that fades into the green, that fades into the blue, that fades into the black. So I think it's a pretty sweet pattern. Should work pretty well. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you'd like, check out my Facebook and Instagram page at Russell Custom Cranks. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description, but you can find it on Facebook and Instagram. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Bye.